Hi, this is how to fix black screen death on your iPod. Basically what's happening here is people can't find out and I thought we could just do a new video on YouTube to help people on this problem which because it's not being displayed on YouTube yet. Uh, basically we've had this problem and we've been spending days trying to find a way to, to fix it. Not, not, no videos have been helpful to us. We looked through all over YouTube trying to find a solution but nothing was so we're trying to come up with our own. Basically as you can see, it's going to stay like this, and then in a couple of, in a couple of seconds or a minute, it will turn flash, a white for two seconds, and then go back to black. And this is not really helpful. But if you hold it down like this, but as you can see, just so camera can show you, there is um, nothing showing on here, on this, that, that is connected to my iPod, because it's not, it's just the battery's gone. And basically, what you've got to do is hold it down for 30 for more than 10 seconds. Because most people say 10 seconds, but with this problem, it's got to be more. So I'm just holding it down. You need to hold both the home button and the lock uh, slash sleep button when you're doing this. It might take quite a while, but it'll pay off at the end. Okay, as but you can see, it says connector, it's got the connector iTunes screen. And now, if you look here, it says t iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used. Right, press OK. And as you can see here, it says, go down, it says iPod. Then, if you go into downloads, it says download one item, I iPod software, downloading one item, and as you can see, it's just been downloading. So I hope that helps you a lot and hope you get back onto your iPod. Goodbye.